and that's about it. You don't even need an analog synth or a hardware device to create these sounds. Hey guys, it's Convolver here and today I'm going to show you how to make this sound. Okay, I know that was a long preview, but this goes on to show how powerful of a synth Hummer truly is, as I have been only modulating two knobs at a time to get these sounds. So the sound is divided into two sections, the first being the main synth itself, which in this case is Hummer, but the same concepts can be applied to any other additive synth as well, as this is a very effect heavy sound. The second part to the sound is sort of what's going on in the mixer with the FX. So to understand how this sound works, let's create a basic saw wave for the synth and put a note in the key of the kick and bass so that it harmonizes really well with the track. Now pass the sound through the mixer slot. If you listen closely to the preview again, you would notice that events in the sound appear to happen almost at a random basis, as if they are being re-triggered or gated almost randomly. Which makes it sound like a really intricate and very unpredictable sound, but yet in a very good and controlled way. Which is why this technique has been used by many Psytrans producers who make Forest, Twilight and even Dark Psy music. What might seem complex is actually a very simple and smart technique at play, which is to randomly re-trigger various gated volume envelope patterns. But we need to set it up so that it acts that way. Uh, what we want is for there to be various loop volume envelope patterns, which would be triggered randomly by our controller. So let's begin by creating these envelope patterns first. To do that, let's open up Fruity Love Filter and then go over to the presets and select volume and automation. Create a loop pattern envelope by first enabling the volume envelope section by hitting this button. Now create the loop by setting the loop start and end point like so. Now make a gated envelope by going over to the pulse mode and select the tension point to look like this. If you get a completely orange envelope like this, then try to hover approximately around the center of the envelope and you should be able to manipulate the tension by going up or down. Which means that if the direction of phase is not in the right way, then just adjust the tension knob by going over to the other direction. So if you got this envelope by going up, then go down until this goes through this hot mess of orange and flips the phase of the pulse over to the other side. Now create these four cycles of pulses. Uh, <laughs> pulses. <laughs> I mean pulse. Okay. Create four cycles of pulse. Now do you see this little number over here, under the pan where it says 1? Yeah, that thing over there. That lets you change between various envelope patterns. And the best part is that this can be controlled like any other native parameter in FL by things like digital controllers, MIDI knobs, events and even automation clips. This is where the beauty of the sound lies in. So now you can just create another loop pattern in the second one and do this. 
Also, don't forget to enable this every time. Otherwise, you would be really confused as to why Love Filter does not love you. Why don't you like me? You can create up to 10 patterns per control in Love Filter, but about 4 to 5 should be more than enough for something like this. Don't forget to add a few of these where the envelope stays sustained at a higher value to make it more interesting. Okay, so these are the patterns that I have used for this purpose. Notice how it sounds when I manually change between them. Now comes the part where we will make FL continuously randomize this without us having to do anything. To achieve this, open up Fruity Peak Controller somewhere in the mixer and then select the shape of the LFO to be random and increase the volume of the LFO by using this knob. You can now see that the Peak Controller generates a random low frequency sample and hold output. I like to make it faster so that the triggering of the various envelopes can happen a lot faster. You can set it by right clicking on speed, set and then select 4 steps. Now go back to Fruity Love Filter and right click on the pattern selector and select link to controller. Go to the drop down of the internal controller and under Fruity Peak Controller select the Peak Control LFO. Now we want the values to change in steps so go to the mapping formula and select Steppy. This will by default bring up a 9 step mapping but since we only have like 4 patterns just change the 9 to 4 and you will have 4 steps. Hit accept. Try hitting a note now and the saw wave should be gated randomly. Now add a delay 3 unit and copy these settings. Use a delay time of 3 is to 0 for 1 4th beat and 4 is to 0 for 1 3rd beat. Now add a reverb unit or a fruity convolver to give it a sense of space. Now we come to the second part of the sound which is the synth itself. Once you have all of this set up, go back to Hammer. Select the filter 1 shape as custom shape 1 and filter 1 resonance type as custom shape 1. Now go to the resonance shape 1 articulator from the drop down and create this shape. So basically what we are doing is we are selecting a custom shape for the filter which does nothing and then in the custom shape for resonance curve. We are trying to mimic how a human voice would be modulating while creating a sound like this. So just for the sake of understanding, if I were to do this on a regular EQ, then it would look something like this. But since Hammer is a very powerful editive synthesizer, we don't really have to make these three automations for something like this. So the custom resonance curve that we just created in Hammer is what results in the vocally character of the sound. You can hear the same effect as we mess with the filter 1 resonance with knob after increasing the resonance of the filter 1 with this knob. What's even better is now I can move the frequency center of this curve that I just created independently. <laughs> This right here is the benefit of having an additive synthesizer. A level of control that subtractive synthesizers can only dream of achieving. 
Now, if you want, you can even increase the squelchiness of the sound by increasing the prism amount very slightly. <laughs> And from there on is all just a matter of preference and experimentation. So let's see if I can make something with the sound that I just created. later And that's about it. You don't even need an analog synth or a hardware device to create these sounds. I've also added a nice dark patcher instrument chain which I created based around the same concepts so you guys can download it for free and start experimenting with it. All you need to do is go over to the control service here and just try messing with this knob.
If you follow me on Instagram then you might be aware of the fact that I'm releasing a new track on 19th of this month and I am really excited about this. It's called Spiral Bound and here's a little preview of this which I wanted to share with you guys. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys learned something new. If you have any questions about this, then do let me know. I'll be sure to reply. Thanks for watching and if you feel like I've helped you, then consider hitting the like and subscribe button.